Right, this is a typical trial and improvement question. We have an equation, um, this one is a cubic, x cubed plus 20x equals 71, and there they've given us the initial range between 2 and 3 for the solution. So, um, I always would say the best way to do this is to set it out in a table. Okay, so you have a column for your trials, the possible x values that you're trying out. You have a column that works out the value of x cubed plus 20x. And then the final column, you just make a note of whether that's too big or too small. You're comparing it to 71. Um, now we're given 2 and 3, so a most sensible starting point would be 2.5. So let's do that. We work out 2.5 cubed plus uh, 20 lots of 2.5. And we stick that on the calculator. Uh, we get 65.625. There we go. So comparing it to 71, that is definitely too small. We need a bigger value of x for our solution. Um, I'm going to go with 2.7. You just want to choose something that's between 2.5 and 3, but still only to one decimal place at this stage. So choosing 2.7, if we work that out, uh, we're going to get 73 and a bit. Um, so again, comparing that to 71, that is too big. So I've made progress. I've narrowed it down to between 2.5 and 2.7. So I need to try 2.6. So I can narrow it down to two adjacent numbers to one decimal place. So if I do the same for 2.6, and just a quick tip here with the modern calculators, I can leave the previous sum on the calculator screen and just scroll through and change the 0.7s to 0.6s so I don't have to re-enter the whole sum each time. That makes it a lot quicker and it also avoids mistakes. So doing that, I get 69.576. It's too small. It's smaller than 71. But the good news is I've narrowed it down. It's between 2.6 and 2.7 and because I want my solution to one decimal place one of those numbers is going to be my solution and my job now is to find out which of those two is it closest to and the only way to do that is to try a test point exactly halfway between so 2.65 is going to be that test point so the last this will be the last calculation 2.65 cubed plus 20 times 2.65 and we'll go through adjusting adding the 5 on the end in the calculator, doing it the quick way, and that gives me 71.609. So compared to 71, that is too big. Okay, this is the news that I wanted. So I now know that if I look at my number line here, 2.65 is too big. I already knew that uh, 2.6 was too small. So that region there, that's where my solution lies, somewhere in that region, which means it's definitely closer to 2.6 than it is to 2.7. So to one decimal place, my solution is 2.6. Um, and of course, don't forget to actually write that down. Okay, You can't get the final marks in the question without stating your solution. And that's it.